So many people have issues with histamine, whether it's heart palpitations, insomnia, even skin reactions. And these are more extreme health problems that usually occur when someone ignores minor health issues over several months to years, particularly on carnivore or ketogenic diets. There are many supplements and solutions that people try, tend not to work, but this requires a lot of careful balance without overdoing certain things. You know, if you do something extreme and it fixes it temporarily, but you keep following the same diet you were, chances are the histamine issues are gonna come back and at some point in time, you're not gonna be able to do any of these extreme solutions to fix your problem. So we're gonna to touch on zinc, copper, magnesium, and then give a little bit of a summary because a lot of these minerals have been offered as some of those extreme solutions. Oh yeah, just fix your copper deficiency and you'll be fine when it's not really that simple. So role of zinc signaling in the regulation of mast cell basophil and T cell mediated allergic responses. The zinc chelator TPEN inhibits the release of histamine, the production of cytokines and the secretion of lipid mediators in mast cells and zinc supplementation rescues these inhibitory effects. Uh, before I explain that, we'll just read the second one real quick. Zinc is required for FC Epsilon RI mediated mast cell activation. These results revealed that zinc was involved in multiple steps of mast cell activation and required for degranulation and cytokine production. Uh, simplifying that is the detox of cells and management of inflammation. So zinc reduces the amount of histamine released by mast cells and allows them to manage histamine better. So it's clearly needed and 100% necessary, which can't be said about copper. Yes, copper plays a role in histamine, but it's really only relevant in extreme contexts, obscure diets like carnivore keto. Copper is commonly referred to as a cofactor in the body to creating the Dow enzyme, diamine oxidase, which is used to break down amines, including histamine. But Dow enzyme also requires vitamin C, vitamin B6, and zinc, which you are far more likely to be deficient in than copper. You know, the only reason copper helped me years ago was when I was extremely deficient on carnivore, very, very rare context. So we have a study, copper regulates maturation and expression of a MTF tryptase axis in mast cells. Copper status did not impact storage of histamine in mast cells, nor did alterations in copper levels affect the ability of mast cells to degranulate in response to IgE receptor cross-linking. A striking finding was decreased tryptase content in mast cells with copper overload, whereas copper starvation increased tryptase content. So my interpretation of that is that copper is not as significant as other nutrients in mast cell function and excess copper can actually inhibit detox abilities by slowing down the mast cells. So, you know, if you supplement copper and you don't feel much of a difference, you want to stop taking it immediately because as soon as you take a little too much, it can be very hard on the liver and hard on the body. Now, whenever we talk about minerals, there has to be a balance. And on paper, from a metabolic perspective, if you're reading studies, it can be difficult to link the importance of magnesium to histamine management. But understanding the mineral wheel, you know, you'll go down a bit of a rabbit hole finding out that zinc can inhibit magnesium absorption. So we have inhibitory effects of zinc on magnesium balance and magnesium absorption in man. Zinc supplements of 142 milligrams a day decreased magnesium absorption and the magnesium balance significantly during all calcium intakes for the three groups combined, which helps explain the second study, blood and mast cell histamine levels in magnesium deficient rats. Blood histamine levels increased four to five fold by 14 days of magnesium depletion and subsequently declined to levels similar to those in pear fed magnesium adequate controls. So if you've been isolating certain minerals and can't figure out why you're still experiencing histamine issues, it could 
be very likely that magnesium is your culprit. And unlike these other minerals, when taken in excess, almost impossible to overdose on magnesium. You can take pretty high amounts of it for long periods of time and be perfectly fine. Now I could continue and explain the role of vitamin C, various B vitamins. However, this is a thrifted shirt that is tailored, not a custom fit Italian suit. So until I start getting some reciprocation, we're not putting in maximum effort here. Now from a practical application, you can only really try supplementing each of these individual things and gauge your reaction. Yes, a hair mineral analysis can really help. We've done videos on the hair mineral analysis. Uh, you guys can even watch uh, past videos on the mineral wheel, which will help you understand this a little bit better. You know, try some zinc one day, see how you react. Magnesium another day, see how you react. Maybe try zinc with copper a different day. Same with vitamin C. You know, in the morning with breakfast, try each of these individual minerals and see how you feel. Uh, but you want to be careful pairing some of these. Like you definitely want to take zinc with copper. And you probably don't want to take vitamin C with other metals, aka all minerals, as it increases brain cell circulation or just brain circulation. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you take copper with vitamin C, the copper will concentrate in your brain more than it would have if you did not take it with vitamin C. So it's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, for the B vitamins, we have a natural B complex on organ supplements, as well as all of those other minerals. Uh, the B vitamin stuff is very difficult to do. However, you know, I came up with that custom formula, so it's kind of safe to take that supplement. But regular B complexes, regular B vitamins are dosed so high you're going to be harming your health more than helping it. And uh, I, I was rereading some of the Weston Price stuff the other day. You know, due to soil mineral depletion and a lot of modern factors, unfortunately supplements are necessary. So a lot of people try to fix issues like this naturally and think they can just change their diet and do this or that naturally. Very difficult to do if not impossible. Unless the health issue isn't really that severe in the first place. And beyond this, it's very important to reduce your protein intake as protein is basically amines which turn into histamine, tyramine, all different types of inflammatory things that mast cells are going to try to manage and you're going to have all these allergic reactions. If you're eating a balanced diet of meat, grains, if you're following my exact diet, you should have zero histamine issues. But if you do, you could have a gut microbiome imbalance that might require probiotics and it could very well be one of these mineral deficiencies. And a lot of the time, if you did have an extreme deficiency, as soon as you take one of these minerals, you'll, you'll feel almost better instantly. You know, the heart palpitations will kind of go away. So, you know, if you're doing something, if you're beating the door down and it's not opening, you know, if, if you can't fix your health issue with your hypothetical solutions, always try something else, always try something new, you know. I mean, it's not really relevant. You know, the definition of insanity is doing something over and over again, expecting a different result. If you're doing something and it's not working, try something else. And then if that doesn't work, try something else. But once you have a kind of an understanding and I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep rambling on and on and on here. But once you know enough, you kind of can pinpoint things and figure out what you should and shouldn't be doing. So you guys can go to frankdashtefano.com if you'd like to support me through all of my businesses where you will see organsupplements.com where we have a lot of stuff that is relevant to this, whether you're taking certain minerals, whether you need digestive enzymes or all different types of stuff. But as always, thank you guys for joining me. Again, frankdashtefano.com if you guys would like to support me before I completely lose my mind. But I said, we're, we're working on growing my hair to the point where it's like this big and I'll just get zapped by lightning and I'll be energized for the rest of my life. I'll see you guys soon.